I'm Mary King and this is where the side work ends. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make one of my favorite holiday treats, the brandied cranberry. It's sort of the Christmas cousin to the Amarena cherry and it's just as versatile in cocktails and just as welcome as a host gift. It's really easy to make and that's kind of the best part. It's just a cup of cranberries, half a cup of white sugar, half a cup of brandy divided into two quarter cups, and two tablespoons or an eighth of a cup of water, and then a wooden spoon. You're gonna need that. You combine all of the ingredients in a heavy saucepan, and then over a low flame, you just wanna bring them to a low simmer. You don't want it to boil at all. And then you just keep your eye on them. Stir them until they start to split open. You don't want them to break down. You just wanna break the outside skin of the cranberry so that the cranberry has a little bit of surface area and can suck up all of that sugar and brandy syrup and really get nice and delicious. So after they've all split open, you just wanna remove them from the heat and then you'll add the last half of the brandy of the brandy just so it steeps and gets a lot of brandy flavor, which I really like. If you don't care for a brandy flavor, just leave out the last half of the brandy. So after you pour it into jars, you've got a lovely gift for a host or you can keep it in the fridge. They just get better the longer they sit. So you can make these three to five days in advance before you go to a party or before you host one of your own parties. If you can trust yourself not to eat them all, they're pretty delicious. But another great thing to do with the syrup, you can make a really quick holiday Manhattan, replace the sweet vermouth with a little bit of the brandy liqueur from the bottom of this, and garnish with a couple of, of the cranberries. Keep in mind though, the cranberries are gonna float. They're not like amarena cherries where they'll go to the bottom. So you'll probably wanna stick them on a swizzle stick. Speaking of Manhattan though, I think I need to try that recipe right now myself. So uh, thanks for dropping in and I look forward to seeing you again soon for the sidewalk again.